pregnant wife used Jim as a cover for her affair. Now she's moved in with her lover and wants to play happy family with my baby. My wife is 30 years old and she's always worked out and been in shape, but lately I feel like it's becoming excessive. She used to regularly work out at a gym when she was in college. At some point she stopped going to the gym, I think lately just due to her schedule, and preferred to work out at home or go for runs outside. About 18 months ago she announced she was going to get back into the habit of going to the gym. She now had a job where she's able to make more time for it. It started off normal, but slowly became more and more frequent. She signed up for classes on the weekend, both days, she started going to the gym every day, then it became the morning before work and then again later in the evening. Every single day. If she's stressed, she goes to the gym. Experience some sort of life crisis. She immediately heads to the gym. We have an argument, runs to the gym. She's four months pregnant right now. I'm kind of surprised we even had time to make a kid. I understand that it's safe for her to work out, especially since she was already in the habit of doing it before she got pregnant, but the intensity is not slowing down. If she misses one of her normal gym sessions she becomes so irritable, like a junkie not getting her fix. It's just bizarre. Truly a case of too much of a good thing. Of course she gets upset when I voice that I feel it's becoming an unhealthy obsession and that I miss spending time with her because she's there so much. She has all of these friends and this whole circle of people there that she seems to prefer spending time with over me. Why don't we work out together at the gym? The gym is her time, she says. This isn't a case of me feeling insecure because she's in great physical shape and I'm a fat slob. I work out and am in shape, my job really requires me to stay in shape so I can't let myself go if I want to. I genuinely feel her gym habits are unhealthy. She's over-exercising, for one. There is such a thing. But worse than that, I feel it's becoming a way for her to escape everything else in her life. She never actually fixed anything that goes wrong in her life. She just runs off to the gym to get some sort of mood boost and then that's it. She also never gets anything else done in a practical sense because how can she when she's at the gym so often? It's to the point where I have to do every chore and if food is getting made I'm going to have to do it. I don't expect her to do all of those things, but it should at least be a shared effort. People we know have even commented about it to me. They've said things about how she seems different, how she sure is at the gym a lot, and many of her friends and family barely see her anymore. Some have even suggested she's having an affair with somebody there. Please tell me that this doesn't sound normal to you. She insists this is perfectly normal. Update, February 11th, 2024. I posted not very long ago about my wife's addiction to the gym. A compulsion, if you will. She spends most of her free time there. She often goes twice a day, and sometimes even three times if we have a fight at night and she needs to run off instead of actually talking to me. She won't let me go to her gym and she refuses to go to mine. Her gym is her place, my gym is my place, and that's just the way it has to be according to her. I'd love to have her come along with me. I've invited her multiple times. She's about 18 weeks pregnant right now. This is our first baby. She worked out like crazy prior to the pregnancy and she continues to just as hard now. I truly didn't think she was cheating on me. People suggested it in the last thread and I laughed. You can tell she's at the gym a lot, she's in great shape. So she's obviously going there. I felt really confident about the cheating issue and when I posted 9 days ago I wasn't even considering cheating. I'm embarrassed to admit that after reading a lot of the comments on my last post, I thought maybe I was being overly confident about her fidelity. She usually always has her phone on her, but she left it in the kitchen counter and as stupid as I felt, I decided to do a quick swipe through her texts. She had a current text conversation going on with a guy. I recognize the name. The same name of a guy from the gym she mentions a lot. She's friends with a lot of people there, went to one of their weddings last fall. I wasn't too terribly concerned until I started reading the texts. Never wanted to know what the guy's dick looked like, but I know now. She was only out of the room for literally about a minute or two, so I had to scroll fast. I was furious. I asked her what the fuck that conversation was about. She started yelling at me for looking at her phone. I told her she's acting so weird and the gym obsession was really bothering me so I just decided to look, and was ashamed that I did, but that's I thought I'd find nothing all. She said it's nothing. It's nothing. Didn't look like nothing to me. She sure seemed pretty interested in this nothing. I wanted to know if she's been fucking him. For how long? She kept saying no. I left the house because I was so furious, but not before I slammed her phone on the ground and shattered it. She was calling me all sorts of names for breaking her phone. She hit me on the back as hard as she could. I left. Went to my brother's house. My brother and sister-in-law were shocked, although my sister-in-law was one of the most vocal ones about my wife's gym obsession being weird and bringing it up to me constantly. I went home. She was in bed crying. She obviously couldn't call me or anyone else for that matter. She was laying it on thick, I don't know if you'd ever come home. Give me a break. I took her phone to get repaired tonight. She doesn't deserve it but I still feel like an ass breaking her phone. I still don't know how deep it goes. She won't admit to anything beyond what I saw. Was it sexting, bad enough, 
or more. I'm convinced it was a lot more, but she refuses to hand over her phone and is now trying to act like I'm this terrible monster who is abusing her because I broke her phone. Not my proudest moment, but I honestly wanted to body slam her after she punched me. I have never and would never actually touch her like that. Update 2, my wife admitted to an affair. February 12, 2024. Not sure if posting something in my profile will be seen by anyone, but I don't feel like making another update in a subreddit. Today my wife asked me to stay home from work so we could talk. She laid in bed all day yesterday trying to get me to feel sorry for her, but I paid absolutely no attention to her and ended up leaving the house to go to my family's Super Bowl party. I wasn't in the mood to go but I wasn't going to sit at home with her. It really bothered her that I left. She kept texting me things like who just leaves like that? When something like this is happening, who is that cold and callous that they just leave to go to a party? I stayed home today to talk to her. She was full of tears, she's so sorry. According to her, she really was going to the gym twice a day because she likes going there, that's where her friends are, makes her feel good, it's fun for her. She met this guy there and he started flirting with her. Everyone likes him. He's one of the most popular guys there. I didn't realize there were popular people at gyms. She admitted that she flirted back but didn't mean anything by it. She didn't reciprocate very much at first, but he gave her butterflies and she just found herself flirting back without thinking. She said it felt like when she had a crush on somebody when she was in school when she was younger. They started texting. At first it was just friendly and nothing sexual for several months, but she'd feel giddy every time she got a message from him. She was really attracted to him, but told him that she was married and there could never actually be anything between them. According to her, he kept flirting with her anyway and said sure, we won't cross the line. Until they did cross the line. She said she had tried to resist it for a while, but then one day they kissed. She admitted to enjoying it but also feeling that it was wrong. She must not have felt that bad because she slept with him for the first time later that night. She described it like falling in love with somebody for the first time. All she could think about what him. Is she in love with him? She doesn't know. Is this baby mine? She thinks so but there's always a small chance it could be his. He always uses a condom so she doesn't think it's his baby but they were sleeping together at the time she got pregnant. She loves me. She can't help that there's just this huge spark between the two of them. She doesn't know if she loves him. She doesn't know if the baby is mine. She doesn't know why she did this. She doesn't know what she thinks we should do. The nail in the coffin is when she said you would really leave me if it's not your baby would you? She had the balls to ask me that. I told her of course I'm leaving her and I wouldn't raise another man's child. She seemed shocked. She said really? With everything we have in all our history, you wouldn't even consider it? She can't be serious. I told her no I would never consider it. She agreed to get a DNA test. She tearfully agreed, like I'm supposed to feel sorry for her about it? I don't know who this woman is. She was crying the whole time, but not tears of an ashamed or sorry person. They were tears for herself and meant to try to make me feel bad. Feel bad for what? That her heart is apparently so torn? Comments where Op has replied. Oop. She's ruined my life, but I just feel numb right now. I barely feel anything at the moment. It would have been bad enough for her to have an affair and cheat on me. But she couldn't have stopped when she found out she was pregnant? At least I could have walked away if it wasn't for this pregnancy. Maybe I still can, but I won't know for sure until I get some test results. She's almost positive the baby is mine. I'm stuck dealing with her forever then. My child will grow up with divorced parents. Their mom will be the gym bike. Maybe she'll even take off to live near her family and take my kid with her. Oh, but then she couldn't be near the guy who gives her butterflies and fucks her in gym changing rooms. The thrill, the excitement, how can I even blame her? She's ruined fatherhood for me, whether this is my kid or not. If by some chance this isn't my baby and I'm able to completely break free, how will I not think of this one day when I start a family? I was so fucking happy to have this baby with her. I was really excited, even though we hadn't planned for it right now. We have names picked out. I've been there for everything and now she does this to me. Not only me, but this poor kid regardless of who their father is. Oop. She's saying I'll never go back to the gym again. I'll never talk to him again. But she can't say whether she's in love with him or not? What kind of idiot does she think I am? TTI survivors. She still thinks there is hope to save your relationship? Jesus Christ. Oop. Yeah, I believe she still thinks there's a chance I'll agree to raise another man's child with her. She doesn't take me seriously when I say there's no way I'd do that. She is dependent on me. She probably wouldn't leave me if I knocked somebody else up and wanted her to play mommy. I know that sounds terrible and it's nothing I'd ever do but I feel like she'd be mad and she'd go screw somebody else to get back at me but she probably would be too scared to actually leave me. I don't feel the same way about leaving her. I'm sad to leave her. I don't want this to be our reality. I can't even say that I completely hate her yet. But I won't raise another man's child. If she feels so strongly about that guy and he's so wonderful, go get together with him then and leave everyone else alone. Hilda. 
She was practically on her knees yesterday saying I won't go back to the gym. I won't ever contact him again. I feel like that doesn't really mesh with the fact that she doesn't even know if she's in love with him or not. She obviously still has very strong feelings for him, which are probably coming more from between her legs than her actual heart but doesn't really matter either way to me. I think despite anything to do with him, she's dependent on me in a way. For stability, maybe. Just out of comfort, maybe. We've been together since she was 20 years old, so I'm just this familiar person I guess. She has her gym friends out here but other than that she has no family or friends out here. She makes pretty good money, but I make more and all of our benefits are through me. Even with her good salary, it would be difficult to survive on her own as a single mom here with all of the daily living expenses, or at least live anywhere near the level she wants to live at. Hilda. Today is the day she was crying all night about how she's ruined her life. She seemed genuine, like reality is hitting her, but I didn't pay any attention to her at all. I just pretended she wasn't there. I did ask her if she'll get blood drawn for a paternity test. I asked her to please not hurt me further by keeping me in limbo about that for months. She said she doesn't want to. Oop on if he got a lawyer and if he ever met the AP. I'm meeting with a lawyer next week and we'll see what they advise. How can she parade me around when I've never been allowed to go to her gym? I've met two of the people, a slightly older married couple. Yes, I met the AP. Last summer he called her because he was drunk at a bar and couldn't drive home, so he called her to come get him. I didn't think it was a good idea for her to go pick somebody up late at night, so I went with her. I want her out of the house but I don't necessarily want her to fly back home to where she's from just yet. If this is my kid and she gives birth out here I'll be in a much better position. If she leaves and goes home to her parents, she could very well be allowed to stay there and that would be considered the baby's place of residence. She missed a few days of work, but she has gone to work since all of this happened. She was having a meltdown this morning and I left for work. She told me had to go in late today and when she got there everybody was making her food and tea and stuff. She obviously didn't tell them what really happened. How long the affair was happening. She claims they've been sleeping together since the summer. That's just what she claims, of course. My wife is moving in with her AP, they're in love. February 22nd, 2024. My life has been reduced to a trashy daytime talk show. The woman who was once my wife, who I considered a classy woman, has turned into complete trailer trash. Today she announced that she's moving in with her affair partner from the gym. She's pregnant, might be his kid, might be mine. She's too embarrassed to go get blood drawn for a paternity test. She spent about a week trying to get my attention, to get me to talk to her, to get me to beg her to be mine. I didn't fall for any of it. I've largely been ignoring her and when we have to speak I keep it very brief. We've been living together this whole time, but I'm in a different room now and functioning separate from her in all ways. So, her pouting and trying to get me to pay attention to her and give her a gold star for not going to the gym for five days in a row didn't work. Today she texted me to say she is moving in with him. Somehow I still care about this person. I've already met with a lawyer though. I can care about her as a human being and possible mother of my child without being married to her. Still, it stung to hear her say she was going to be with him. I told her it wasn't a smart move to leave the house. I've even told her she should probably meet with a lawyer. She doesn't care about anything I have to say. I don't think she needs to move in with anybody. I actually feel bad for her that she can't just be on her own. I asked her if he actually knew she was pregnant and wanted to know what story she's been telling him this whole time. She said he knows and he doesn't care if it's my baby, he loves her and wants to be with her. Bizarre. You can't find anyone else? Somebody who isn't a married, pregnant woman? Why would you take that on? Doesn't make sense to me. He's scum but he's good looking scum who apparently is gainfully employed and owns his own home, so you can't tell me that my married, pregnant wife is your only option here. I just can't imagine being a single guy like that and wanting to put up with this baggage when I could have other options. And if this really is my baby then what? They'll live with my wife and this weasel 50% of the time? I don't know how my life turned into this mess. And she thinks it's embarrassing to have to go get blood drawn? My wife has agreed to a paternity test. February 29th, 2024. My wife moved in with her AP last weekend. She didn't take very much at all. Most of her stuff is still in our house. I still get the feeling she was just waiting for me to beg her to come home, but I didn't reach out to her at all after she left. It was a strange mixture of relief, anger, and sadness. I don't think I ate at all until last night. Just never felt hungry. Drank a little too much. But I'm fine. I'm posting this update because I've received a ton of messages from people and honestly it's emotionally draining to respond to each one and to have to type the same stuff out. I just don't feel like talking about her that much. So this morning she texted me to say her AP wants to get a DNA test done, so she's going to do it. Look at that, didn't matter when I wanted one but now that he has requested it she suddenly thinks it's a great idea. She asked if I wanted to submit a sample because it'll be cheaper to have two dads tested as part of one package. I don't even care about the cost at this point, I just want an answer. I don't have to see or interact with them at all. 
I just have to make my own appointment with the lab to get my cheek swabbed. So this Saturday I'm going to do that and we should have the results within a week. I'll take what I can get at this point because it's better than her dragging this out for another 20 weeks. So that's it. I'm fine. I'm going to work every day. Trying to function. Just feel stuck in limbo. I miss her. Honestly, I hate that she's there with him. It makes me sick. Part of me does want to beg her to come home. It'll be even worse if I find out that it's my baby and she's there with him. Unless he drops her at that news. I won't let myself beg her. I won't play any of those games with her. Comments where Op has replied. March 8, 2024. TTI survivors. Have you gotten the paternity test results? Oop. At 11 o'clock this morning I got the news that I'm the father. I feel incredibly conflicted right now. Jacoby underscore Brian 8. Is she asking to come back home? Or is she still planning on staying with the other guy? Regardless this is a rough situation I'm sorry for you bro. Oop. We haven't talked. Jacoby underscore Brian 8. Understandable but I think that you should try and set up a meeting with her somewhere public to discuss the pregnancy and the future in general with her. Whether or not your marriage is going to end the kid is still going to be a big part of your lives so it would be best to see where both of you stand in that regard. Also I recall you saying earlier that you think that your wife would listen to what her affair partner would say to her, or something similar to that, so now that it's not his kid I would be concerned about him pressuring her into getting an abortion. So I think you really should talk to your wife about your unborn child and whatnot. Oop. We definitely need to talk, but I got the news in the middle of a work day so I wasn't in the mood to have a full-blown conversation with her. I think I need to sort of wrap my head around the reality of it all before I say too much to her anyway. And update on my wife's affair and pregnancy. March 15th, 2024. My wife has been having an affair with a guy she met at the gym for at least nearly a year. She's around 22 weeks pregnant right now. She was somewhere around 17 weeks when I discovered she was cheating. She maintained that she was positive I was the father, but then refused to get a paternity test done to ease my mind. We recently had a paternity test done, at the request of her affair partner, and it proves the baby is mine. It's been very mixed emotions for me, very up and down. Originally I thought I just wanted to be completely done with her and not have any lifelong ties in the form of a full-blown human being we shared, but I was sort of happy or relieved when I got the results. I'd already had it in my mind that I was going to be a father for months before I found out she was cheating. Sometimes I just have moments where I can't believe this is my life, that this is the situation that my kid will be born into and I hate her for it. She's still living with him. All of her belongings are still here in our house. I refuse to do the work of packing everything up for her. She doesn't seem concerned about taking any of her things, beyond the essentials. After we got the news that I'm the baby's father, she texted me to say she's glad I'm the father and that she knows I'll be a great dad. She was texting me new baby name ideas last night. She's tried calling but I ignore the calls. I only speak with her via text. This morning she asked if she could come by and get a few things. I told her it was fine, as I've been advised by my lawyer to not prevent her entry from the home, but I told her that he better not be with her. So who shows up with her? The scumbag boyfriend. He walks right on into the house behind her like it's no big deal. She ran upstairs to get the stuff she wanted and he and I were just left standing there in the living room. He told me it wasn't her fault that he was there. She told him I didn't want to come but he forced his way along. He wanted to talk to me, supposedly, to tell me he understand how I must be feeling. No, you don't know. He told me he knows I probably don't believe him, but he genuinely loves her and knew he probably wasn't the father. He accepts it and then tried to assure me he won't try to take my place with the baby and hopes we can just get along since we're both going to be in her life now. He promises that she's fine, he's looking after her. I told him that I couldn't for the life of me imagine what he wanted with a pregnant woman who is having another man's child, that I found it weird. Then I told him if he didn't get out of my house I'd punch him. I went upstairs and she was trying to find somebody things in the bathroom. I got mad, asked her why she brought him along, and told her I find it really strange that he still wants to be with her now that he knows he has nothing to do with this baby, and that I refuse to let him have anything to do with my child. She said he talked her into coming and she's sorry and never meant for any of this to happen but she's in love with him now. He is supposedly what 30 year old her is looking for, not me. She's setting up a nursery in his house and I can set one up at my house and she has no intention of trying to get full custody or anything like that. She doesn't want to keep me from being involved in my child's life. How generous of her. She went back downstairs and I followed her and he was still standing there in the living room and I just walked up to him and punched him. He stumped back and fall into a table. She yelled what the fuck? And ran over to him. I don't even care at this point. As if he's going to call the cops? He deserved it and it wouldn't have happened had he just left like I told him to. Several hours later she texted me to say she was sorry about today. He really meant what he said and he's actually a good guy and he cares about her and he respect me. WTF? He respects me? He was screwing my wife in the gym locker room. I was like you can't be serious. She said fine. I'm trying to have a mature conversation about this. 
I can't help that we fell in love. Believe it or not, I'm not trying to hurt you and I want everything to be amicable. This guy stole my wife and he's stealing my kid too. Sure I'm the actual father but now they're setting up a nursery together in his house? I've tried to not feel jealous or sad. I've tried to maintain the thought that he's the trash man who picked up my garbage. Sometimes I feel that way, but the truth is that I loved her, and still love her. I don't want to stay married to her on principle alone, but this is devastating to me.